personal attacks on women's health. This bill, offered by Chairman Roscom, allows folks to receive premium tax credits for catastrophic health plans and for plans purchased off of the health exchange, both of which I believe would do further harm to the already fragile individual market. But this bill goes further and needlessly takes away premium tax credits from millions of hardworking Americans struggling to afford health insurance. Tucked away in this bill is a provision that takes away premium tax credits from middle-class families if their health insurance plan covers comprehensive women's health, including abortion services. My amendment would strike this harmful language. This provision is politically motivated and does nothing to improve the quality or affordability of health care. This provision is solely in this bill to make safe and legal abortion further out of reach for more women and would disproportionately impact low-income women and women of color. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to insert in the record a letter supporting this amendment from many um, organizations across this country who support women's reproductive rights. Without, without objection. But this bill would not just impact women seeking comprehensive health services. This bill would take away premium tax subsidies from everyone in my home state of Washington. You see, in Washington state, all health plans are required to cover comprehensive women's health services, including abortion. And because of the way Mr. Roscom's bill is written, no one in my state would be eligible for premium tax credits. This bill would take away premium sub subsidies from over 116,000 people in Washington state. And my state's not unique. Three other states, including New York, California, and Oregon would all lose access to premium tax credits if this bill becomes law. So like I said, this do bill does nothing to make quality health cl plans more affordable. It's sad how far the majority is willing to go, making health insurance more expensive for millions of middle-class families just to get between a woman and her doctor. Mr. Chairman, there's so much more this committee could be doing to actually help women and families. We should take a serious look at stabilizing the individual market through real improvements. But that's not what we're doing today. And that's why I urge my colleagues to vote yes on my amendment, and I yield back.